guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're gonna to be touring the island of Amber Falls by Katie Skye. Katie is a good friend of mine. She's also a published author. So if you wanna check out the book that this island is modeled after, then I will link it down in the description below. I will also put the dream address if you wanna visit yourself and follow along. This island is absolutely incredible. It is an autumn town core island. I cannot wait to show it to you. Let's get started. First off at the entrance, we do enter onto a city street, which I love. The Colin Crossing Autumn Code is on the ground and we do have like a little, I don't know if it's a library or a bookstore. It looks a little bit like a bookstore, um, but it could be a library. I don't know, but there's lots of books and I love it. I love books. So this is really, and it's also a her alley since she is an author that's kind of hilarious. We have Emma's Closet, which is a location in the book that she wrote. So if you want to know the backstory on Emma's Closet, you can definitely go and read the book. And then that way is Residence Services, but I'm going to continue going this way anyway, <laughs> because the road goes straight and I want to go straight. Royals Diner. Here we have the Royals Diner and it is locked behind castle walls, which I love. It looks absolutely beautiful. The inside of it is surprisingly looking like a diner. So they have all of the fried food and all of the things that you would expect in a diner. I do love the gray and white tiled floor and I love the black and white furniture. And the combination of the diner and the cool items and the counter items that are down to make all of this little decor, I feel like it adds a lot of variation. It's not too matchy matchy, but it matches exactly enough and it's perfect. It looks really, really good. So if you want to put a diner on your island, but you don't want everything to be so samezies, that's the way to do it. And here we have our little town grocery store, which I absolutely love. It's so cute. And I love this little area where she mimics the cart's uh, parking space right there. That's really very realistic and very cool. We have the store shelves on either side and a little ice cream shack. And of course, people are littering over here because it wouldn't be a grocery store without a little bit of trash, right? So moving right along, it looks like we have a little library, which I love. There's places to read right here, which is great. And the little library stand. And I love that the kiosk actually looks like the kiosk in a library. It's a cash register, but it does mimic the kiosk when it's turned sideways like that. And I do love that. I love this whole library feeling. I love how enclosed it is. The furniture is next level. It looks so good. And of course we have our tiny libraries along the outside. There is a path that says we can go this way. So I'm going to go ahead and go this way. It doesn't look like there's much except for some natural decor, which I'm down with. I'm, I'm totally down with some natural decor, but it does lead to a campsite on the peninsula. It looks so good. Okay. I love this right here. It looks so good. This is like my picture of excellence right here. Look at the little campsite with all the little campsite items. Orange and blue are very complimentary colors. So the color palette here is impeccable. I love it. And then we have, um, I don't know who's buried right there, but I don't want to find out. We have things going on here and it looks really nice. There's a little dog park at the um, campsite, which I love. That's amazing. It looks so good. And then back here, we have a florist. The florist is super cute. I do love the idea of using the brick walls behind a building instead of a building like that because it allows you to see everything. So it gives you just enough illusion but not too much. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to go back around the front. This is all really cute and I love this natural path right here. It does look really good. So I'm going to continue and go back around the front and work my way back on the inside of the islands. Okay, so this is the airport and we're going to make our way to the right and see what's going on on the other side of the street over here. 
Over here we have a little ice cream shop and this little stand is so cute. I love the way the ice cream stand looks. That is a really clever design right there. And then this street where Callie is, so good. I love the double stairways and it looks so good. The view is beautiful. What do we have up here? What is this? I have no idea what's going on over here, but there, oh, it's a prison. Okay. So there is a prison here. I get it. This is like a little police station. There's a prison. And on this side, I guess this is where he, the secretary is. I have no idea. Is that where you pay bail? Oh gosh. Wow. Check that out, you guys. That's really cool. And then we have Callie, just being Callie. I love her. So over here we have a little parking lot and on this side, there's a cute little picnic area right here. I do love this little picnic area. It looks so cute. And we've made our way finally to resident services with Luna over here. Resident services is looking beautiful, very autumnal. I love autumn. So this looks really nice. And then if we head up this way, the museum has been made into a bank. I love that. It does kind of look like a bank, right? And then there's with the fountain and the little ATM machines right here. That's so appropriate. That looks super appropriate. And then if we stay on this passageway, like her character told me when I got here, We'll come this way and we will find a little laundromat. I love it. I love the black and white theme carried on over here. I do love that the brick fencing was used on this island because I haven't, um, I haven't been able to ever use fencing as walls in this game yet. And I'm really looking forward to trying it. So this is wishy washy laundry. I love that. That is such an awesome name for this place. And then over here we have Hunter's Pub. Hunter's Pub is really cool looking too. So they are open and you can sit outside or you can go inside. I love it. That building design looks familiar too. Over here we have the pet vet. It doesn't look to have like any interior, but it's just a place that you can look at as you're running by it looks great as everything else does in this island very autumnal as well and then here we have the florist that we saw on the other side which i love if i continue to the right i'm pretty sure there's going to be some streets that i can go down and see what's gonna happen there is a villager house right here. It's decorated so cute. I love that. That looks really nice. And then we have another villager house here. So we have a cute little neighborhood area is what it is over here. And this looks like either Rudy or Kiki's house and then Callie's house right next door. So very pretty, very autumnal villagers. And I love that. These do look like the original house decorations. This is Callie's house, as I thought. So these are like the original homes of the villagers in this little neighborhood right here. And I don't know what is behind here, but it looks like there's another area behind the villager neighborhood. I'm not sure if we're supposed to go to it, but we're about to find out because that's what I do. Ooh, so there's a dark house back here. <gasps> I'm pretty sure I have horns for a reason, but I'm going to go around this path really quick and see what's going on on the other side. There looks to be some natural terraforming over there, and I love that. It's beautiful. And there is a glowing moss pond down there. So there has to be a reason for that. I don't know what it is, but there is a little graveyard here with two headstones. I'm not exactly sure what that's all about, but we're probably going to find out. Okay, so we are inside the house. 
I don't know what's going to happen if there's like basements or whatever here. I'm afraid to find out. I always feel like if I run into, if I go down into the basement, something bad always happens. So I never know. We have a cute little kitchen here, though. This is very cute, very homey and cozy. I love it. Love to see it. And over here we have a little dining room, kind of den study area. It looks like it's used for a combination of things. Actually, this is what my dining area kind of looked like for a long time. There was just books everywhere. Back here we have a little restroom. It is beautiful. I love the little privacy curtains. It looks so good with a little vanity over here. It is a really nice bathroom. Okay, we're in the upstairs and it looks fairly innocuous. We've got a cute little office, a really nice bedroom. It's absolutely beautiful. Everything's a little dark, but it's still very pretty, very pretty. Okay, we've reached the downstairs. It looks fine. I don't know what's going on, but it looks fine. It looks like everything is fine here. There is a Mario pipe. Can we jump in it? No, we cannot. Okay, it is blocked off. So everything looks okay here. I can't believe how nervous I get at the idea of going into basements these days. You guys always startle me with your basement choices. So there is a Mario part pipe right here on the back beach. Let's see where it takes us. Oh, wow. What is this? Where did I just land? It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty over here though. Look at how pretty this is. It does look very magical. There's stars on the ground as far as the custom codes go. I have no idea where I am, but it is stunning. Oh gosh, how do I get out of here? Okay, so most everything is blocked off. So I think I was just supposed to see the sights. And they are quite beautiful sights. Of that much I am sure but look at how pretty that is it is absolutely stunning I do love this view okay so I finally got the pipe to stop tossing me up on the cliff next to it and check out the view you guys it is stunning over here it is so beautiful I love that it was gorgeous and then there's just little ways to get up throughout here so that you can see the falls in the back, which I do love. I love that there's this hidden gem of terraforming in the back of the island. It's absolutely stunning and it is the perfect complement to the rest of the island and how like city and town like it is. It is just a nice little contrast. I don't know what's going on in the main house, but it, it looked pretty, pretty tame for me. So hopefully you guys can read more about it in the novel and let me know what's going on over there. Everything looks really nice. It's a very beautiful. So thank you so much, Katie, for allowing me to tour your islands. I really appreciate it. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. So I cannot wait to see what you come up with in the future. I appreciate you guys and for those of you who stuck around until the end, I appreciate you the most. I know you can be absolutely anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me on this beautiful island for just a little bit of your time. Have a beautiful and wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Maybe third time's a charm. Who knows? Who knows? I'm terrible at this. Why do I even do this?